Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so, Dear students For this time This is uh, chapter 5 Of the English Semantics uh, Book uh, We are talking about Lexical uh, Relations uh, We start uh, With lexical fields Which uh, means a Set of lexemes Or sets of word or which is also called uh, vocabulary units or units of meaning in any one language system which uh, cover uh, such as English yeah uh, these are the examples uh, sport so in the term of a uh, sport uh, sports covers uh, basketball football golf uh, baseball uh, and other sports so when we uh, say sport it covers uh, other terms you know, which can be classified as sport uh, some lexical sets involve part whole relations like uh, arms it includes hand yeah, also uh, finger and thumb so when we say arms uh, it includes other parts of the arms with different uh, names uh, some sets are sequential or cyclical like numbers when we say numbers uh, it covers uh, series yeah, or sequential one two three and so on so it's called sequential yeah. so uh, so numbers is not just one month yeah. January, February, March, April, May and so on so when we say month it includes uh, the 12 months yeah, from January to December it's called cyclical because after uh, the new year it stops again with uh, January some sets yeah, mostly small ones yeah, form uh, paradigms like human yeah. human includes men woman girl boy so when we look at the lexical fields so this is uh, like the uh, superordinate yeah, of uh, words yeah, with uh, one classification yeah, one category yeah, like sport yeah, arms numbers month and human yeah. Uh, there are uh, other words yeah, which uh, are included in the terms of uh, a superordinate sport <coughs> but the words in the classification is different like sport yeah, basketball uh, football golf and so on are not uh, sequential not cyclical yeah, not part or whole yeah but they are separated football and uh, basketball are separated yeah no join no connection but they are under one category yeah which is sport uh, it's different from arm yeah uh, which includes hand finger and thumb yeah which are connected to each other and also uh, numbers yeah uh, they are arranged in sequence yeah one two or month yeah, January February and so on and also uh, uh, human is uh, a, a category yeah, which includes men woman girl or like parts of it yeah. parts of human is men yeah, woman girl and boy uh, the next uh, topic for uh, 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 semantic yeah, uh, relationship is kinship yeah. kinship is the terms uh, to cover the uh, the words yeah, used uh, for human relations yeah, uh, through blood ties and through marriage yeah. the examples for this is uh, father yeah, like mother, yeah, or brother, sister, 
uncle, aunt, uh, this is uh, and, and uh, other groups yeah, with in-law, father-in-law, yeah, mother-in-law, yeah, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Yeah. Uh, these uh, terms are used to refer to someone with uh, rela marriage relationship while uh, father, mother, brother and sister are mm, with uh, blood relationships. So kinship stems uh, differ from uh, one society to uh, other society. Yeah. Uh, even in uh, Indonesia, yeah, we refer to uh, uncle with a different, uh, different term. Yeah. We refer to uh, nephew and niece, yeah, for example, with a different term. This is a kinship terms. Yeah, the terms uh, used to refer to uh, someone yeah, with a blood relationship or marriage relationship. Hyponymy. Hyponymy is a word or phrase whose semantic range is included within that or another another word. So hy hyponymy is the uh, has a close relationship with. Uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, superordinate, yeah, superordinate. Uh, so superordinate is the category. Well, the hyponymy is the uh, <coughs> the part of the uh, of the uh, uh, superordinate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, scarlet, yeah, scarlet, vermilion, carmine, and crimson. Uh, all uh, hyponyms of red. Red is the category of uh, these all colors. Yeah? Uh, so scarlet, vermilion, carmine are uh, under the category of, of red. Yeah? So rover is a collie. Yeah? Uh, so rover is the name of a collie. Th th there are an other uh, uh, parts of collie. Th there are other examples of collie which is under the uh, one cover term yeah, which is uh, collie. Rover is a dog. Yeah? So dog is the, cat uh, the, the category of uh, rover yeah, and th of course there are many other uh, names for dog yeah? like uh, bulldog yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, for, for, for dogs yeah? Yeah, like uh, Rose, tulips, rafflesia are the under the uh, category or hypor uh, of uh, superordinates of flowers. So, so flowers covers uh, many uh, uh, terms for uh, flowers, yeah? and and, and they, they have uh, different names. But uh, flowers is the superordinate. While rose is the hyponymy. Okay, so this is the. Uh <coughs> the opposite yeah, of uh, superordinate. Yeah. Uh, synonymy. Synonymy is a kind of semantic relationship. Yeah. Uh, two words yeah, or phrases are synonym, synonyms when they have the same meaning. Yeah. Only the same meaning yeah, but not the same use or the same usage. Yeah. Uh, actually there are no two uh, very uh, or exactly the same words. Yeah, they have uh, different uh, different uh, use, although they have uh, different uh, same meaning. Yeah, like student and pupil, for example. Yeah, student <coughs> for university, for high school, for elementary schools. Yeah, uh, but we never say pupil for university uh, student. Yeah? But they have the same. Uh, meaning, yeah, but the use is different. Yeah. Buy and purchase yeah, uh, have the same meaning. Yeah. This is an example for verb. <coughs> Although they have the same meaning, but they don't have the same frequency of use or context of use. Yeah. Uh, we never say that I want to go to the shop yeah, to purchase a cup of coffee, yeah, or I I I'm, I go to the uh, cafeteria to. Uh, uh, purchase a, cu a cup of coffee we use buy yeah so but they have the same meaning <coughs> yeah sick and ill also yeah uh, someone is uh, seriously sick 
uh, I think we never say that someone is seriously ill. Yeah? So the diff diff uh, the same meaning but different uh, use, different context of use. Quickly and speedily. Yeah, adverb. Yeah, quickly. I run quickly, but uh, we never say I run uh, speedily. Yeah? Uh, speedily uh, is used. Uh, for example, uh, they uh, drive speedily. Yeah? <coughs> As if yeah, uh, speedily is uh, faster than quickly. On and upon. Yeah, like a preposition. Yeah, on the same meaning. Yeah, I put my book on the table. Yeah, uh, we never say I put my book upon the table. Yeah. Uh, but upon upon a time yeah, on that time yeah we use uh, upon not uh, on Jack is a seaman Jack is a sailor yeah. so when we say a sailor okay or uh, like in uh, sport yeah, uh, sailing sport yeah if someone uh, often sails for a sport uh, we call him or her uh, is a sailor but not a seaman a seaman is a, a fisherman yeah we call also fisherman someone who works um, as a, a fisherman we call a seaman yeah? uh, but uh, we don't call them a sailor yeah? antonymy is the opposite of synonymy the term antonymy uh, antonym and the related antonymy has also been commonly used as a term that is uh, synonymous uh, with opposite yeah what is the opposite of that word uh, however the term also has other more uh, restricted meaning examples lazy and diligent long and short old and young yeah? the television is on now the television is off now so uh, these are the example of uh, antonymy or <coughs> antonyms yeah uh, a relationship yeah, so lazy, diligent, the opposite. What is the opposite of long? Uh, short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, antonyms. Yeah. Uh, binary and non-binary. So binary antonyms are also called complementary. Complementary antonym. There is no comparison. Yeah. Or scale. It is a matter of being either one. Or another, yeah. For example, alive and dead. Yeah? So if someone is alive, he must be not dead. Yeah? If someone is dead, he must not be alive. So no, no term uh, uh, in the middle. Yeah? So even if someone is in a coma, yeah, it is still alive. Yeah? It is not dead. So you are. Uh, either alive or dead, not somewhere in between. Yeah, one example: a uh, single and married, yeah, male and female, yeah. So male, uh, female, yeah. If someone is not male, uh, she must be a female. If someone is a female, he must be a male biologically, yeah, biologically. Although, yeah, uh, we may have a term yeah, psychologically. Yeah, in the middle, yeah, not male, not female. Yeah. Other examples are single and married. If someone is single, yeah, uh, he is not married. What about people who live together, yeah, without marriage? Yeah, uh, we call them or uh, single, yeah, a single living together. Yeah, uh, they are not married. Married is, uh, is a process. Yeah, uh, administrat administrative uh, process. Yeah they have to register yeah, to get married and they uh, have uh, a process a ceremony of, of getting marriage yeah. so this is called a, uh, a binary antonym yeah. a non-binary antonym also called gradable yeah. uh, gradable not complementary yeah. gradable antonym this describes something which can be measured and compared with something else for example one car is traveling at 120 kilometers uh, per mile yeah, or per hour uh, 120 uh, kilometers or 75 miles yeah, per hour 
and one at 60 kilometers or seven uh, 37 mile per hour one is fast and the other one is slow <coughs> yeah but uh, if it is not fast it is uh, it doesn't have to be slow yeah we can have a, an, a word uh, in the middle yeah? uh, and we can put a very fast yeah fast yeah or rather fast or quiet slow yeah? so for uh, binary antonyms we cannot put uh, the word uh, very alive or, or uh, somewhat dead yeah? no yeah uh, we cannot put uh, that uh, pre modifier yeah for the terms for uh, binary antonyms yeah but for non binary antonyms yeah we can do that yeah like uh, rich and poor if someone is not rich yeah she or he uh, doesn't have to be poor yeah she or he can be uh, somewhere in the middle yeah between rich and poor other example are small and big if it is not small it is it, it may not be uh, uh, big yeah it, it is not always on the opposite hot and cold yeah we have like warm in the middle yeah uh, dry and wet yeah well, we can put uh, uh, very dry some uh, quiet dry yeah uh, wet yeah uh, quiet Oh, wet, yeah. clean and dirty. Yeah, it's the same example. Uh, so these are the examples of non-binary and antonyms. Yeah. Uh, comparison of four relation like synonymy, yeah, hyponymy, non-binary antonym, and binary antonym. Yeah. Um, so if we use uh, the synonym words or hyponym words in a context, yeah. Uh, it creates yeah, uh, additional meaning. Yeah. Jack is a seaman. Yeah. Uh, so if we say Jack is a seaman, Jack must be a sailor. So seaman is higher in category than uh, a sailor. If someone is a seaman, he must be a sailor. And then we uh, put a code of P is equal to uh q yeah? p is equal to q if p it must be q if jack is a seaman he must be a sailor but not yeah uh sorry uh, uh if we put not yeah after jack and uh, uh it is also uh, equal jack is not a seaman jack is not a sailor yeah so if jack is a seaman jack is a sailor if Jack is not a seaman, uh, Jack is not a sailor. So that is for synonym. For hyponym, yeah, rubber is a collie. Yeah, uh, rubber is a dog. So uh, rubber is a collie. If if uh, an animal is called collie, yeah, uh, it must be a dog. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, formula yeah uh, p must be uh, q rover is a collie and therefore and yeah, not equal and therefore rover is a collie because uh, rover is a dog yeah because uh, all collies are dog yeah if rover is not a collie and then rover is not a dog yeah so the same thing if we put not and then yeah the same uh, partner, yeah, the same part, yeah. Uh, so, uh, not Q and also not uh, P, yeah. Uh, uh, P and then uh, Q. Yeah. So non-binary antonym. Look is rich, yeah. Look is poor. So if look uh, is uh, uh, is rich, yeah. It doesn't mean that look is poor that, that is uh, obvious yeah so if look is rich yeah and then look is uh, is not uh, poor if uh, look is poor Q uh, of course yeah look is not uh, rich yeah
okay binary antonym the window is open yeah the window is closed yeah yeah if p if the window is open it is not closed yeah yeah so if p it is not q if it is not uh, p and not open and then it is closed yeah so so these are the our formula now uh, of uh, uh, the meaning yeah, of the synonym, hyponym, uh, non-binary antonym, and binary antonym. Now we call it converse antonymy. Yeah, these antonyms depend on each other. For example, buy and sell. It's called converse. Yeah, the opposite. <coughs> uh, not not really the opposite. Yeah, <coughs> if. Uh, I buy something there must be someone who sells it yeah you cannot buy something without someone else sells uh, it to you yeah? other examples are borrow and lend if you uh, borrow uh, something from someone uh, someone must have lent it to you mm? wife and husband so it's called converse antony uh, antonymy yeah so no wife without a husband and no husband without a wife symmetry symmetry generally converts two primary meanings and yeah? the first is the uh, imprecise sense of harmonious or aesthetically uh, pleasing uh, proportionally and balanced such that it reflects uh, beauty or perfection the second meaning is a precise and well defined concept yeah, of balance yeah, or patterns of sim uh, similarity that can be demonstrated or proof according to the rules of a formal system yeah, by uh, geometry uh, through physics or otherwise example line AB is parallel to line CD yeah? so uh, there is a line from A to B and it is parallel to line uh, C and D so they are parallel yeah? line cd is parallel to line ab so the same yeah we just start with uh, line cd yeah line ab and line cd are parallel to each other this is another way to mention it yeah yeah <coughs> line ab is parallel to line cd we can also say it like this line ab and line cd are parallel to each other or line ab and line cd are parallel so there are four ways uh, to mention the same uh, purpose you yeah, know the same sentence yeah. Yeah, we can say line a b is parallel to line c d we can say line c d is parallel to line a b we can say line a b and line c d are parallel to each other and line a b to and line c d are parallel yeah. it's called symmetry and reciprocity a re a reciprocal is a linguistic structure that marks a particular kind of relationship between two noun phrases for example the truck collided with the bus yeah? so the truck collided with the bus yeah? uh, we can also yeah, of course reverse yeah, the, uh, the word yeah? we call we, we mention the bus first the bus collided with the truck yeah. Tom agreed with N N agreed with Tom uh, Prescott correspond to Dudley Dudley correspond to uh, Prescott yeah. the market research department communicate with the same department yeah. uh, we can say the the department yeah, the same department communicate uh, with yeah research department uh, communicate with the same with the sales department yeah the sales department communicate with the market uh, uh, research department so we can uh, start with other other part other words an expression of quantity yeah this expression show the speaker's attitude yeah, towards the quantity he or she is referring to yeah, for example few and little yeah. I think you have learned this yeah when we use few and when we use uh, little yeah, from the grammar uh, subject yeah. 
few is for countable nouns and a little is for uncountable nouns <coughs> Yeah, I've got a few friends. Yeah, maybe not many, but enough. Yeah, I've got a little money. I've got enough to live on. So, a few for countable nouns. Yeah, uh, but uh, a little is for uncountable nouns. Some. Some is used in positive statement. It is also used in question where we are sure about the answer. Did he give you some tea? Yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah, so we, got, we use it some yeah, uh, with a positive uh, a statement. Yeah. Some is used where the question is not uh, a request yeah, for information, but a way of making a request. Yeah. Could I have some books, please? Yeah, not. Could I have any books? No. Yeah, it's uh, positive. And request yeah. uh, many yeah, used for countable noun. Uh, many student, how many cigarettes have you smoked? There weren't many people at the party. Yeah, so for 